क्वेश्चन नंबर 121 अ स्टील कॉन्स्टिट्यूट ऑल एक्सेप्ट पेरिसाइकल वास्कुलर बंडल पेथन हाइपोडर्मिस अ पिथ कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स वास्कुलर बंडल्स पेरिसाइकल एंड पिथ नॉट द हाइपोडर्मिस सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर 4 लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 122 पेरिसाइकल गिव्स अ पार्ट ऑफ वास्कुलर कैम्बियम रिंग इन डाइकोट रूट यस इन डाइकोट रूट सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ टेक्स प्लेस एंड द कैम्बियम इज कंप्लीटली सेकेंडरी इन ओरिजिन सो पेरिसाइकल हेल्प्स इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वास्कुलर कैम्बियम सो दिस इज करेक्ट फॉर्म्स लेटरल रूट्स यस इट मे एक्ट एज स्टोरेज ऑर्गन यस इट कैन नॉट बी पेरन काइमेटस नो पेरिसाइकल कैन बी पेरन काइमेटस wrong is present in monocot stem no pericycal is not present in the monocot stem as the ground tissue is not differentiated in monocot stem so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 123 in cymose and fluorescence peduncle terminates into a flower yes flowers are born in acropetal order no you can remember the features of racemos and fluorescence with the help of a term ria r is for racemos i is for indefinite growth and a is for acropetal growth of flowers see this these are true for the racemos and fluorescence and the opposite is true for the cymos so second option flowers are born in acropetal order no acropetal order seen in racemos not in cymos so this is wrong youngest flowers are at the top youngest flowers are not present at the top because in cymos and fluorescence the growth is basipetal where the younger flowers are present at the base so this is not correct main axis shows unlimited growth no unlimited growth is seen in racemos so it should have limited growth so this is also wrong so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 124 choose the odd one for the modification of axillary bud thorns of citrus are modified axillary bud true tendril of watermelon is also a modified axillary bud thorns of bougainvillea also are modified buds spine of aloe vera spines are modified leaves not the axillary buds so this is the odd one so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 125 endodermis is called start sheath in in monocot stem there is no endodermis because the ground tissue is not differentiated now what about the dicot in the monocot roots in roots you will find the casparian strips not the starch sheath so roots are ruled out what about the dicot stem yes dicot stem is the correct option as the endodermis of the dicot stem may store the starch it is called the starch sheath so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question 